today I'm describing, hi, this is Suzanne Bencho and I'm trying to get my breakfast in and my bullies are in full force. So I'm taking the minute to explain why um, people that are bullied to smithereens in these virtual death camps deserve to get a, uh, a, a, a what do you call it, a, a check, a paycheck for their troubles. Basically, these bullies, they're not, they're not, number one, I woke up realizing that they're not equal opportunists. They don't give the whole world the opportunity they're giving us of their, you know, of laying their emotional, psychological, the stress of the last day. They're not giving the whole world this opportunity that supposedly there's nothing wrong with because nothing's really done about it. Um, so if there's nothing wrong with it, yet it's a benefit to you scapegoats because the bullies get to dump all their stuff on us so they can work and do what they do, raise their families, go to work and earn a living, then it has to be worth a lot to society. So, um, <clears throat> one of the things in this process of them dumping all their stuff on us is the fact that they're not using their human, sensor, their human senses. They rely on their base senses that we basically picked up as fish. The, the psycho Razzi is one example of that. That something we, uh, some, a skill that we would have learned as fish. So, and the way they do it, of course, is addictions. You know, they keep, they stay under the, the human sensory organ skills. Everything, taste, touch, feel, hear, see, um, and of course your feelings, you know, what you, what you feel on the inside. That's, that's one of their biggest things, but shutting the other sensories down partially, it gets done in the process. So they're not picking up everything that they should be picking up to really be rational, responsible, employees, you know, workers, teachers, whatever. They're not running at full capacity. This is something that the economic factors don't pick up either. They, they have uh, utilization percentages, you know, uh, factory utilization and uh, productivity. And that it totally disregards the fact that the, the, as much as people are inebriating, they are not using all their faculties. They're using the faculties, basically, of fish. They're like robotic fish. They follow, they don't express their own, they don't vote their conscience. In fact, it's impossible to vote your conscience because the psycho Razzi, which is controlled by the privilege, forces you into a death camp until you vote the way they want you to vote. Now, Biden hasn't done a thing for me since he's been president. Everything that appears, everything that he appeared to look like he was doing, um, you know, the increase in, temporary increase in SNAP and a little bit more lie, he was all COVID stuff. So he didn't do anything for me, and I'm one of the most vulnerable people in the world and in this country. So I, you know, I worked for nine years, and because of the antibiotic poisoning that I incurred before I was born, I, I, I was pushing it, working at all, but I couldn't find the help I needed. Yet I've been bullied all my existence. My brother started when I was eight years old, full on every day, and it was, it was all day to me because I was so vulnerable and underfed and um, weak that it just took a couple bullions for me to feel depressed and anxious the whole day. So, I, I mean, and, and it, it got to the point where they didn't even have to bully me every day. Even before, before I turned 14, they could bully me once a week and that was enough for the whole week. So, that's like some, some it, it like simulates alcoholism in a way. And that's why people start claiming the victim instinctually because you appear to be 
another another addict. You appear to be totally responsible because you can't get off your feet and do anything. Yet we're not paid for this. We're not given. Um, they were given money to go out and have girlfriends and party and do everything. I couldn't get a dime for cleaning three floors of my mother's house, of my parents' house, and painting and all that stuff. I didn't get paid for any of the stuff I did. Finishing woodwork, I couldn't get a dime. So, um, to, to buy a piece of, I didn't need candy anyway, so I guess that's why, oh, it's a big spiritual thing because I couldn't handle candy because I'm hypoglycemic, right? Well, this is the basis for, but, but we're getting, getting back to now to the basis of why people that are bullying, bullying is at least a tax. And we should be getting a lot of that tax back by having an income for incurring this bullying. Um, the other part of it is we're feeling for the world. You put, you put your stress on us and we feel and we make decisions that tell um, geniuses and algorithms what to do and they do it, but they just keep putting more on us because they like the information that they're getting out of us. So they keep loading more and more and more stress on us, even through algorithms and the way the computers treat us and the glitches that we get and the amount of them and the duration of them because they like the, the stuff that they're, they're, they're torturing out of us. So we deserve an income for all of this. There is no doubt in my mind uh, the people that are inebriating daily are shutting themselves down. They're operating at the level of fish while we're operating at the level of emotional geniuses because all the bullying is put on us and we're doing the feeling for the world. So I don't know how that can't be a job. I really don't know how that can't. Therapists get paid for it, but we do all the work. We do the work. We do the feeling. And even the therapists are going to get a sense of what, of what the outcomes are of that by the way the algorithms are treating them because they're therapists. And they're, you know, like, you know, uh, I guess they have higher status than we do, but I don't feel that way. I think my job and what has been placed on me is just as important as the president's or any other high-level person in the world. And we are not paid for this. And Biden has not done a thing for me. I'm not voting Republican for Republican. I will vote for myself for president, even though I probably physically can't withstand the job. I'm still the best person because I'm the only one that has, even has an awareness that there's these people out there in the world that deserve to be paid, and we're not getting paid. There's not one politician talking about it. Not one. And the psychorazzi is just something that's put up there with movies like um, Amityville Horror and um, Spaceships and Little Green Men. And it's a skill we, we definitely started as fish because that's the only skill my neighbors use is their psychorazzi skill. They don't do anything else but stalk me 24 hours a day that I know of they can't be, they cannot possibly be giving 100% at work. And this is an economic factor that's not even tallied. Yet the algorithms probably know exactly what it is. The algorithms can probably tally it, or they can tally it by what the algorithms are spewing out. And it's not even done. And they know exactly who it's being done to by the way we react and the way we flow in and the way we use the computer and the things we do. Yet, this is all just a big secret because they want to keep scapegoats. Um, they don't want, you know, any scapegoats to know how badly they're being used because they don't want to pay us, bottom line. You know, it's just like where the, um, where the factory workers of the 1800s or even before that uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I, I can't, I'm not even getting a penny an hour because uh, the stress that it causes and the money that I haven't been able to earn because of it is far more than what I get in disability. So I'm actually paying, I'm paying society for being alive versus getting paid 
for the emotional feeling I we and the emotional feeling we all do in these death camps do for the whole world. So I think the politicians need to do something about this. A universal affirmative action. It has to be done through universal affirmative action, so everybody is treated fairly. Not just the people that are handling the emotional baggage, but there's people handling other stuff too. Housewives do their part, and we all do our part. That's cleaning our yards. And um, my, none of my neighbors help clean the street like I do, and they're all healthy bulls. They all have their health. Yet they could stalk me all day, but they can't clean. They can't help clean the leaves on the street and even their own leaves, they, they won't even pick their own leaves up. So, I mean, and we're not getting paid for any of the stuff we do. Housewives and people that are handling all the emotional baggage, none of us are getting paid. So when's it start? When's it start, world? When are you going to start being fair to everybody? This at the very least, this will be the cause of Envirogeddon, at the very least. So, um, the, the, uh, the uh, greenhouse gases are, are just a minuscule part of all the pollutions considered. People don't think they have to stop having babies just because they're handling greenhouse gases. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. PF, there's 10,000 PFOAs out there that cause cancer, that there's that 99.9% that, uh, .9 of them there's no laws for and the emotional baggage is another pollution and after you're done with the PFOAs you're still probably not have going to not have gotten to the emotional baggage and that's going to cr be crushing you in the process too that's also going to lead to Envirogeddon because people are just going to Eventually, there's not going to be enough people to handle all the emotional baggage because people are thinking and they're not rational and they're just behaving like robotic fish. And the, the privileged are going to drive that to the point of, of, of Envirogeddon too. It'll just be maybe social Geddon that will be the full factor into Envirogeddon because people aren't going to care what they do. And that alone will drive Envirogeddon. Trust me. <laughs> uh, one Envirogeddon, can, of course, is going to roll into another. And at the very least, the psycho Razzi will be the um, deciding factor that never gets handled. It has, to go, it has to be a part of the universal affirmative action that I talk about in my blog, blogger.com, um, We the People blog, number 14A. So please read it. And... Um, you have to consider the psychological stuff that's going on. Otherwise, you'll never get people to be rational and really care about what's going on. So bye now.